quality always have been measured by defects uh, and, and which still continues to do today. I think when we started to look at how can we better ourselves, how can we provide more value to our clients and more solutions that, that they can continuously uh, depend on, we said to ourselves we need to go beyond figuring out what's our defect ratio, what's, what's our availability, and, and, and so forth. And, and that's where we started to really look at how can we measure software quality and other aspects of software um, better. And that's how we stumbled upon CAST software. I think one of the primary reasons that uh, we looked at CAST initially was the ability to automate the function point counts. I think that was a key driver for for Broadridge making that decision to go with CAS. Function point is not something that many people understand, and in fact, you know, we didn't quite understand this uh, when we started out. But what we uncovered was it's the only metric that we could find that allowed us to look at our applications across the many different platforms and languages in a, a more normalized view uh, without the, the the nuances of whether one language is more efficient or one language takes more lines of code uh, to code that same kind of business function. So uh, we started to focus on function points and because of the manual effort involved in uh, counting function points, uh, we knew that we couldn't quite get to being able to look at all of our applications at one shot uh, by going down the manual path of, of counting function points. So we looked at, uh, we looked around the industry, we looked, uh, talked to different people, we did our research and found that CAS software had the ability to automate the function point analysis. And that's when we engaged with CAS, uh, ran a little pilot, and found that, uh, that CAS in fact could deliver. So we have about 300 different applications and uh, we we started about six months ago with CAST. Uh, early part of that time frame was really getting all of the necessary environment and planning work uh, in place. Uh, so about three months ago, we really kicked off trying to get all of our applications delivered into CAST through the, the process that uh, the CAST has to onboard our applications into the CAST server. And we were able to uh, come together and agree that we weren't going to drag this project on for much longer than 12 months. So we set ourselves a goal of completing the onboarding of 300 applications in a 12-month time frame. And we worked, uh, worked out a plan and uh, socialized this throughout the organization and focused on really being able to get all of our applications into CAS in 12 months. And three months into the, the, the actual uh, event, uh, I'm happy to say we're tracking to our plans and uh, uh, we're really uh, delivering what uh, we, we can already see is, is the value that we knew we would get out of CAST. Our interactions uh, from day one have been absolutely uh, positive. Uh, you know, they, they, they understand uh, what our goals are um, very well and they're committed to delivering uh, what we need to, to succeed in this. And throughout the, the planning, you know, it's not, it, not, nothing is as simple and easy as, uh, as, as it is. So uh, we did, in the beginning, had to do a little bit of shifting in, in how we, we go about uh, onboarding our applications and uh, CAS teams, uh, they were very flexible in supporting uh, our approach and uh, very adaptable to uh, wanting to make sure that uh, the right things are done in order for us to accomplish our end goal.